Right, so hello everyone and welcome back to these Formula 2 series. If you don't recognize the series from last year, me and my partner in crime, Ruben, uh, started a series on F1 2017, which was basically running the F2 calendar and F2 regulations. Um, and we basically made it, made that out of series. Not very original, but it's still it was quite a quite a, a lot of fun. Uh, even if I crashed a, f a few times more than I should. But um, anyway, Ruben, do you want to say hello? Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to this new series. And yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited to to see you not last the qualifying lap again gonna be interesting there's a few changes uh from last season feature race is now 50 percent of race length and the sprint race is 25 is a change that went into voting and you voted for that uh short qualifying remains the same and then the grid is inverted uh for the top eight for the sprint race as well other than that i'm replacing ericsson while the reigning champion um, Ruben goes to team up with the second place of last season, Fernando Alonso. So, uh, a bit of an overpowered team, if I'm honest. <laughs> all, but, uh, all star lineup OP. Yeah, but I mean, to be fair, I am teaming up with a real life F2 champion. So, this is going to be tasty between Salvo and McLaren. I hope. I mean, the AI is absolutely going to light us up, but uh, we are going to try our best to push back where we can, I yeah. suppose. But yeah, hopefully, yeah. hopefully this time we don't have. Uh, the, I mean, the, the championship was wrapped up only in the last race, but still, it was it was always going to be a tough a tough shot for the AI in the last race, unless I had just a dismal weekend. So hopefully it's yeah. a bit closer this time around. Well, if you don't win every play race, then we may have so. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't bottle every, quali every qualifying session. <laughs> like, well, it's fine, I only bottle like Monaco and the next five races. It's fine. Yeah, you just need to, um, stop, to stop behaving like uh, the Portuguese Vettel. Yeah. Um, right, anyway, uh, for those who don't know what the real life have took uh, we we did add uh, German into it, but we have Bahrain as the opening round of the F2 season. Next is, will be Azerbaijan, then Spain, Monaco, France, Austria, Great Britain, Germany, Hungary, Belgium, Italy, Russia, and then wrapping up the season once again, Abu Dhabi. So, without further ado, let's get into the first round of this F2 2018 season. I felt like that intro was a lot better as well. <laughs> Just go with default. It's not like there's much strategy to be had. <laughs> I mean, if I crash a lot, then I'll, I better have some super solves. Oh right. boy, yeah. We are back to an F1 garage. Yeah, feels so kind of nice. Uh, like my steering wheel, okay. it's so weird being back to this steering wheel, because I only have I haven't touched the steering wheel in months, because I've been using my TSPC racer for the PC, but now since this is on the PS4, I had to clean the dust out of my old T150, so it's quite weird, because the the first feedback is uh, considerably considerably. English, please, work. Uh, it's considerably uh, uh, weaker and it's not as detailed, so I don't get as much information from the car. So it's going to be interesting to see how the car reacts through the wheel to losing traction and hopefully I can catch it on time because uh, donuts are only for after the race, not really in the middle of it. So yeah, let's see how that goes. Ah, it's fine. Right, no need for sunglasses as it's bloody cloudy outside. No sun whatsoever. 29 degrees in the air still, so very desert-like. Yeah, oh, and we got to... Uh, yeah, we can change the fuel. We got a fixed setup, right? Yeah, okay. Yeah. 
But that means you can't change the fuel either. Yeah, I cannot change the amount of fuel. I will get out to it. Oh, I did not know that. Yeah, whatever. If it's needed, we can change it ne for next race, but whatever. Yeah. It's just to make sure no one changes anything. Yeah. Don't try to cheat. <laughs> like, like the likes of Lance Stroll, who just bought a team to race <laughs> in next season. I mean, his father bought a team. I don't. <laughs> I mean, I, I, if I, if I had the chance of it, I would buy my way into F1 as well. <laughs> true. That's very true. You know, he's a man who needs to rise up from last season. Max Verstappen. It was absolutely shocking last season. Him and Ricardo and Bottas. An unpopular v opinion, I suppose. Uh, Stroll did much better in his F3 season than Mick Schumacher is doing at the moment. Interesting. Uh, Stroll was dominating, from all I know. And I don't really know who his competition was. Maybe the guy, that guy, I believe he's from the Red Bull Junior program, is bigger competition than what Stroll faced, but still. For him to dominate that, uh, it's not like the other drivers were using blindfolds when out on track. You don't know that. <laughs> yeah, maybe his parents just paid them all to drive with blindfolds on. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, yeah, he has to have uh, some kind of skill. It's just, of course, that gets exposed in F1 because that's the the best of the best. But and the Williams is by far the worst car ever created for that series. And also, Stroll spent half of last season's uh, qualifying sessions out qualifying me, and everybody knows I'm the greatest of all time. So now Kimi Räikkönen is currently fastest. I'm waiting for Alonso. <laughs> <laughs> He's still in the pits. Hamilton is fastest in the first and middle sectors. Raikkonen is fastest in the last one. Stroll is faster than Gasly and Grosjean, so promising signs for the Williams. Meanwhile, we shall get ourselves out on track. Okay. Not too bad. Top 5 so far. Hmm. That's not too bad. I have a Ferrari right behind me. I don't know if that's someone who's going to run me over if I'm too slow. So I'm trying to save fuel. Blue flag, blue flag. <laughs> yeah, right? Honestly. <laughs> Meanwhile, the Bahraini are so unused to this cloudy weather, they turned on the lights. Oh, looks like Vettel... Sorry, looks like Vettel is also on uh, outlap because he's not overtaking me. Fair enough. I have to basically stop on the track. Oh, I can see that. Is that you behind? Yeah. Okay, you, you can go. <laughs> like... You are going to be quicker. I'm seeing my all up anyway, so... Yeah, I'm going for another one. Now, I'm guessing with all this... Oh no, my brakes and tires are still warm, nice. Are you serious? What? My DRS is broken. Oh. That's convenient. Come on. Well, I, I'm on a flying lap, so just beware. You yeah, still so am I, but I'm gonna be bloody slow. I don't know if I have enough fuel to complete this lap, but I'm going quite quickly. Oh, 
Oh, it goes fastest. Yep. We've gone deep. I turned down. I'm improving by almost half a second. Come on, car, please give me enough fuel. Zero point three five of fuel. Now you know I'm again. My God, I've gone purple. Zero point two. Oh my god, I ran out of fuel right as I was crossing the line, P4. Whew. You lucky bastard. It was like 50 meters before the line, I ran out of fuel. P4, right behind Alonso. Oh, get in there, that was nice. <laughs> now I'm going to be crawling. <laughs> Maximum of 90 kilometers per hour. On the run down into turn 3. Okay, well... Hopefully I don't cause any disturbances. I like how, like, when I'm looking behind, if I'm on a camera that's outside the car, when I'm looking back, I see the halo on the car, but now, now that I'm on cockpit, there's no halo in front of me. Oh dear. I don't know, if you deactivated the middle column as well, you are, and you go to a third-person view, not even T-cam, but just the camera that uh, is behind the car itself, and you look back, you see the halo column in the middle. But yeah, if you go back to cockpit, you won't have it there. Oh god damn it, man! 120 has been my quickest, <laughs> my quickest uh, KPM so far in this lap. Right, so there's a tenth separating the top five. Ricardo and Alonso have the same lap time. Velo is fastest with a 27.2. The session theoretical best is a 126.9. Oh, nice. Well, I have my best was a 127.3. Could have been a 127.2 perhaps. Because, uh, yeah, I ran out of fuel. But um, how far away am I from the others? You're 69,000. Of metal. Who's on pole? Yeah. If I didn't run out of fuel in the last 50 meters, I would have gotten pole. Yep, yeah, you lost two tenths to Vero in the last sector. Yeah, I got, I got purple. Wow, that that middle sector. I don't, I don't know how I made it that quick. Probably not having any fuel left. Help. Yeah, maybe that was it, but still, god damn it. I'm like 4 tenths quicker than Alonso through there. Yeah, you had to abort your lap because no DRS, right? Yeah. Yep, this time around I have DRS. Oh my god, I I'm trying to follow you on board and I just can't. Because <laughs> the sound of the engine. Oh, it's always at max revs, god damn it. Okay, let me let me go to track. <laughs> let me do this thing. What will do you have? I have a controller, mate. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> There's no wheel in here. I I actually I didn't know that. I had one for PS2, that's about it. I think I've used too much fuel on my outlap. Uh, I don't remember how much fuel I had last time around. I I'm might run out of fuel this time around. Oh, I might, uh, I might run out of fuel this time around as well. Let's see. Yeah, you're definitely running out of fuel. 1.5 is not enough. How do you know I have 1.5? I the could hell? see on the wheel. <laughs> oh, where where does it show on the wheel? Uh, right below the. Oh yeah, the right below. Yeah, right below the. Yeah, the 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 speed. The speed. Yeah. 
I got distracted. Yeah, I went. Uh, whatever. Oh, I I have the same glitch you have, on the spades. Only for Ricardo and Alonso. Vero is for me. Vero is fine for me. It's Ricardo and Alonso who have that issue. Perez is fine for me. Hamilton's not. Leclerc is fine. Wilkenberg's fine. Ocon's fine. Magnussen's not fine. Oh, Leclerc puts into pole position. And would you look at that? The Wonder Kid from the Sauber. Since I didn't retire, I cannot see the remaining of qualifying. I, I'm like waiting for players. <laughs> there it is. Leclerc. Wow. Alonso and Vettel with the same lap time as well. God damn Leclerc it. Leclerc puts it into pole with the 127.2. 50,000 ahead of Vettel and Alonso. Ricardo goes fourth in the Red Bull. Ruben is fifth ahead of Sergio Perez, Kimi Raikkonen ahead of Lewis Hamilton and Valtteri Bottas, Wolkenberg is tenth ahead of Ocon and Gasly, Verstappen letting Red Bull down only in thirteenth ahead of Carlos Sainz, Kevin Magnussen is fifteenth ahead of Brendan Hartley, Lance Stroll is seventeenth, myself in eighteenth ahead of Roman Grosjean and Sergei Sirotkin. Uh, at least we didn't I mean, qualify last. No, I'm I'm ahead of Grosjean and Sirotkin. I'm three turns away from Straw, though. Yeah, but that's probably because you didn't get to improve because you ran out of fuel. Yeah, my lap was far from perfect. Realistically. I still would have gotten pole, though. God damn it. Yeah. God damn it. Oh, well. Well, Let's... this is going to be an interesting race. Yeah, it is. It is. Let's let's see how it goes. Because you have to sell on the super stuffs. I don't. Oh yeah. Well, you have to battle traffic, and I don't. You kind of do. Ah uh, no, I I'm a messer of stars. Especially if you have a especially if you have a shit start. No, I can just dive bomb everyone. <laughs> oh dear. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, formation laps off. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So this is the race strategy we have in our hands. Yeah, I have a two-stopper. Yeah, Ruben probably has that one in bottom. Super yeah, I'm soft, going... Soft, soft. Yeah, super soft, soft, soft. Um, the thing is, even though I'm going on two-stopper, I will at all... At, uh, I will always be on a softer and quicker compound. Uh, unless... The only part where you have an advantage is after your pit stop. And it's not because of the tire compound, but because of the freshness of said compound. Because when you pit uh, for the mediums, uh, I will already, I will either be on very old softs or on a couple laps worn out softs. Uh, of course, the fact of them being softs might offset the the, the tire wear difference. But uh, yeah, despite going on a two stopper, I will always be on quicker rubber than you. So. It's gonna have to be on who makes less mistakes. Yeah, <laughs> let's see, let's see how that goes. Or oh maybe boy. I can just pull off a Vettel and go from super soft to soft until the end. Please don't. Hopefully no mechanics <laughs> break their legs today. Everyone outside the top 10 starting on softs. Yeah, god damn it. Well, let's do That's this. That's good for me because you may have traffic. Yeah, I will, I will. Right, five lights, and away we go. This was a horrific start. I have to back off. Perez and Raikkonen had better starts than me. And then I got boxed in. There's a yellow flag. There's two Williams spun out. Oh my god. There's a safety car already. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Everyone just broke there. Yeah, it was uh, very confusing. We we had to basically stop because 
we were like three or, or four abreast into turn three and like I had to wait to sort out was I in front of Hamilton or not so yeah I got uh, p8 out of all that I got p11 god damn it <laughs> god damn it hi Ruben oh uh, I got I got to uh, I got boxed out uh, boxed in so I had to break earlier than everybody um, right just on the breaking zone Vettel and uh, Ocon jumped me then then I had Ricard to go on my inside as well I had to give him the spot otherwise we would crash and Hamilton got a better exit and got the position right uh, right before the safety car was deployed so yeah just an unfortunate start we, I actually had a good launch the reaction time was good but the the launch itself the the second phase of of the power application wasn't wasn't the greatest oh well that's how it goes I, I mean uh I mean a Reno so <laughs> I mean my style was horrific but there was chaos in front of me so I just overtook everyone we had four retirements on our lap first lap oh so it was both Williams Hartley and uh, Grosjean probably yeah where is K-Mag Oh no, it came out retires. Hardly who's coming out of turn three right now. Yeah, I, I caught a, I caught a glimpse. I got a glimpse of that as well. Well, hopefully Hartley catches up. Yeah, I can see you there trying to pull off a Verstappen on Verstappen. <laughs> Just peeking Just around the corners. Just trying to warm up my tire man. <laughs> <laughs> Leave me alone. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, why is everybody so slow? <laughs> I feel like I'm going to die at, <laughs> from old age. It's so weird when I have to only warm up one tire. <laughs> like, only the front right needs warm or warming up. Because most of the tires around here are to the right, I believe. Oh, safety car in this lap. Is it really though? I mean, considering how slow these guys are going. Cold tires? Yep. <laughs> okay, green flag racing. That was bad, that was bad, that was bad. These tires are not up to temperature. Okay, we got past Hamilton. I, mean, I don't know what you did to Hamilton. <laughs> yeah. He didn't pick the best way to defend. Oh, now your audio is coming through my TV as well. The RS is still disabled, unfortunately. Oh god, I have your audio coming out of the TV, it is not good. You have what coming out of the TV? You, your audio. <laughs> well, at least I'm going to get clean hair. Wow, that was a slow pit stop. We had to pay. Yeah. Because like if I'm pitting next lap, I didn't have damage or anything. Just if I'm pitting next lap, I'm going to get jumped by everybody coming into the pits. Well, I just had to dive bomb Hamilton into turn eight. 
Careful, the tires are cold. Beware on the exit of turn. We're cracking to the pits. Couple more guys into the pits. Yeah, lots of people are pitting now. Hopefully, I undercut them. It's the same. Okay. Getting the RS on Perez, but not getting too close. A wild rhino appeared on my inside, though. That's Wilkenberg. He's closer to me than I am uh, to Perez, so his slipstream is, is stronger than mine. Okay, I still have it. Sands has made a move for P3. Yeah, there's also... There's also a battle uh, for P8, I believe. A Ferrari overtook uh, a Red Bull. That would, that would be Ricardo. Yeah, I think it was Vettel on Ricciardo. But yeah, that brought Ricciardo closer to Perez and then Perez closer to me. Gasly doing wonders. P4. Well, I, I'm guessing he hasn't pitted yet, but... No, none of us have. Yeah, um... But yeah, I guess this is Bahrain. <laughs> he looks like he's the master of Bahrain. He made that Toro Rosso work. <laughs> Okay, I'm not getting molested by Ulkenberg anymore because I have Perez right in front of me. Verstappen has re overtaken Carlos Sainz. This is perfect because it's allowing me to recover my battery. Yeah, I'm not. Uh, Perez is like gaining one tenth on me per lap. That is, however, very much faster than what I'm doing right now. Oh, well, the Red Bull re overtook that Ferrari. So, yeah, more battling. Yeah, it's Raikkonen battling with Ricciardo. At least I created a gap to Ulkenberg. My car could turn, that would be amazing. Their corner exit is so much better. Raikkonen and Ricardo and Perez are now nose to tail. Because of another round of the Ferrari Red Bull battle. Very quiet up here. <laughs> what? It's very quiet up here. <laughs> Locked up into turn ten for the first time in this race we can. So like I'm maintaining the gap to Ocon and to Sainz. So there's not much happening. Yeah, I'm kind of struggling to keep up with Perez. 33-0, that was a 
bit of a bad lap. And Ricardo has another go at Raikkonen. Even Perez almost tried to go at the Finnish driver. He might have tried something if that straight had another 100 meters to it. These rear tires have seen better days. <laughs> yeah, mine too. But since they are like, uh, they are not overheating, so I haven't had major issues. Yeah, same. Ocon goes into the pits as I do a 32.6. Oh my god, Ricardo locked up. Ricardo doesn't have the arrest, so he's not going to come back at us. You got overtaken by all three of Raikkonen, and Perez and myself. Now I'm having to go at the inside of Perez into turn one. Clean exit of turn two and I'm past the Mexican. Whew. That was close. If I was like 10 meters closer to them, when Raikkonen, when Ricardo missed his braking zone, I would have crashed on the back of Perez. Because I barely avoided them. I'm now leader of the race. You are leading? Yeah. And P7. I can say I led a lot before you did. What's your best lap so far? 32.4 Yeah, I'm not going to keep up with Kimi <laughs> Into the I'm pits we are I'm Gonna put on those mediums Yeah, that safety car really worked into your hands Because it didn't give me any time at all to pull away Yeah at least I'm maintaining myself on the DRS zone of uh, Kimi. Hamilton is trying to put me out of the track. Oh, Hamilton? Yeah. Wow, how the hell? Like he was behind me and now he's in front of all of us? What? No, I really pitted. Oh yeah, you pitted. Whatever. <laughs> no, is that I, I? I still see a Sauber up ahead. So. No! What the hell happened to you? I I lost the rear on the braking zone to turn 10. I caught it, but... But completely... Got completely separated from Kimi Raikkonen. And from now on I'm going to be under pressure from Perez and probably... A couple more cars as well. I was too aggressive on that braking zone with the turn in. Shoulder oh, clock is in the pits. Uh, Perez also dropped. 
into the pit lane. Hulkenberg is battling Ricciardo, which is good for me. Just did it a 31-5. Ooh, dear. <laughs> Deers in the desert? Never seen one. <laughs> what happened? I lost it. You what? I completely lost the rear end because of the curve. Exi exit of turn three? Uh, no, turn seven. Oh. Yeah, that uh, that uh, exit curb is deadly. Yeah. Okay, looks like Vettel is in the pits. I held him up. Two point seven pit stop, quicker than last time. Let's do this. I don't know where Perez is. Neither. Well, he's right behind me. On mediums. He does a two stopper and goes on mediums. I mean, he might have an advantage of pace at the end of the stint, but I'm behind Bottas. Hopefully Bottas can uh, close in on the guys in front and tell me. I'm not sure if I'm on DRS range though. Nope, not at the moment. Ah, Bottas is diving in the pit lane. Well, I tried. <laughs> Where are you? P3. So, who jumped you? Alonso came out right ahead of me. And I'm imagining Leclerc is still P1. Nope. Leclerc is right behind me. Who's P out? What? It's it's Ocon. Yep. What the hell? Same strategy as me. Get in. Come on. 2.2 seconds on Kimi. I don't think I'm going to close in. I mean Vettel and uh, Arena are battling, so pff, it's it's it might be a long shot, but I have to keep on pushing because those two might get massively delayed. It's a three-wide battle into turn one, let's see. Looks like Vettel is the losing party. Uh, it's... Yeah, Sainz gets around the outside, wheel banging. Raikkonen got through them, no problems whatsoever. And already got a couple car lengths of clearance. Because Vettel and Sainz decided... To wheel bang a bit. At the exit of turn two. Yeah, they are still battling. I caught up. I'm right on their gearbox. Wow. Maybe one of them got uh, wing damage? No idea, but I'm right on their gearbox. I could propel myself to P2. Signs is on mediums, that's why. Oh my god, so slow. Signs and Vettel side by side once again. I got the better exit. Vettel with the RS is not able to get past signs on pure straight line speed. Vettel around the outside of the Spaniard, I go on the inside. And that's a Hakin and Shumi. 
like overtake from Spa. Don't ask me the year, I'm not an historian. 2000. <laughs> Thank you very much. Do you know who the driver was? It was the McLaren overtaking a Ferrari and everything. Wow. <laughs> oh no, please, no turn 10, have mercy of me. Uh, what were you going to ask? Do you know who the car they were lacking was? Oh, it was uh, Salo? It, I think it was a Japanese driver. I don't remember the name. Now you got me confused. What? I thought, I thought it was Zonta. Uh, no, I think it was... Like it was a Baronda. Yeah, I think it was like Salu or th there was a Japanese driver. I don't remember the name. It was like it, the the um, the oldest Japanese F1 driver I know is uh, Takuma Sato. So no, it wasn't him. Yeah, that wasn't him. But uh, well, I mean, there was Nakajima uh, in the times like of Senna and all that, but I never saw him race. But I think there was a driver called Mika Salu. I think he was yeah, Japanese. That guy was Finnish. That oh yeah, that guy was Finnish. So yeah, I don't know. I think it was a Japanese guy though. Right and then Leclerc fighting it out for people. Yeah, looks like Leclerc is on the shortest end of the stick at the moment. I'm gonna um, be in this at the end of the stick if I'm not careful. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait for the comments crucifying me for getting that things wrong. Mm. And now just because I, I, I called them out on it, they aren't going to do that. Yeah. Oh yeah, they are four seconds up the road. At least Vettel isn't molesting me too much, even though he's going to. Need to do some Yara saving. Okay, I was able to defend from Seb, but I'm at plus 0 0.01 of fuel, so I won't be able to do that too many more times. Hopefully, Vettel and Ricciardo battle a bit. Yeah, I don't believe I'm going to be able to catch up to Charles unless he finds trouble. There's also no indications of a fight breaking out in front unless Reckon catches up to you. Yeah, that's my only hope, really. If both of you battle and then Leclerc gets involved, battles as well. I mean, ideally, no. <laughs> yeah, right. He's only a second behind me, though. I'm just praying his tires go away. Oh dear god. <laughs> what happened? Reckon it's right on my tail. Yeah, if I tell. Fucking hell! What the f are you doing, man? Vettel just tried to freaking kill me. I saw that. Can you not? Oh my god! I 
I suppose I green flag pop up. Freaking hell, man. That was Vettel. He would be a good cop because he just BIT'd me. Freaking hell. Hopefully one of those guys got wing damage. So I can catch up something. Because yeah, Ricardo and Perez got passed. Well, I'm going to need a change of underwear after this race. Because that curb almost killed me. Kids, never touch the inside curb of turn 12. Oh no, that is a killer. That one is a killer. Two seconds on Perez. He's on mediums though. Is there any possibility of me catching up to him? That would be nice. Put him between myself and Vettel. All that, he, he rear ended me twice and no wing damage for him. Wow. Well, three laps to go. Can Ocon hold on to the lead? Uh, I think he will. I won't say he's right behind him though. Oh, he caught up. Yeah. Well, similarly, I caught up to <laughs> Perez. Well, Raikkonen is having another go. Do you need some driving tip as well? Okay, I, I was able to save you and save the RS. This is not looking good. I was able to maintain Perez between myself and Vettel through the DRS zone. Despite me overtaking Perez through the last corner and therefore the Mexican getting a compromised corner exit. But yeah, Vettel cannot overtake Perez in the immediate future because the track is not wide enough. And the Mexican is on mediums, so that, that helps me out quite a bit. Alonso has gone past Ocon. Okay, nice. Looks like the vice champion is back on form. Yeah. Oh, the clerk is getting very close to Raikkonen. Yes, I got like one second on Perez. Wow. Maybe Perez got wing damage. Yeah, two seconds on Perez. That allowed me to save fuel. I think I'm going to take it home comfortably from now on. Vettel just overtook the, uh, the Force India, but... Um, but I don't know if he's going to be able to catch up in the next two laps. Even though he has a faster car, I've been able to save a bit of fuel to resist if push comes to shove. I also still have about one third left in my ERS bar, so yeah, I have tools to defend. Hopefully the does not... is really going for it. <laughs> yeah, I can see on the main map is very close. I believe he can overtake at the beginning of the lap for sure. Come on, Charles. Do it for Salva. We need the points against McLaren. <laughs> <laughs> Raikkonen is still holding on. Oh yeah, he actually gained 
on uh, on Charles. What is that for? Is that the battle for P3? P4. Okay. Oh yeah, because P3, it's you. Yeah. Meanwhile, Alonso is going to take the win. In the future race of Bahrain, Ocon finishes second. And there's a Portuguese on the podium who <laughs> just ran out of fuel as he crossed the line. <laughs> Yeah, that was... Uh, that was a solid one. race. That was a nice one. Well, P7. Decent effort, especially after what happened five laps ago with Vettel, but... <laughs> job done, I believe. Alonso back on the podium. Yep. <laughs> Ocon second though, not exactly something he had seen before. Well, he has a GP2 engine, so uh, it, it fits that uh, he would be winning here in F2. Yeah. And there's a Salvo on the podium. Also, it's the three furthest European countries on the podium. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my god, France, I'm jumping. In Portugal. Oh my god, I'm going from uh, level 1 to level 5 in one race. <laughs> I went from 7 to 10, so <laughs> I understand that. Um, yeah, so there you have it. It's Fernando Alonso with the win, followed by Esteban Ocon and a Pepe. Brilliant drives from the Force India and the Sauber uh, drivers today with Kimi Raikkonen. In P4, Charles Leclerc, unfortunately, is a pole position, well, uh, did not convert into a win. Then we have Daniel Ricciardo in P6, uh, myself in P7, Sebastian Vettel in P8, Nico Lukenberg in 9th, and Sergio Perez. Looks like he might have had wing damage, because he dropped like a stone after that incident, and he is able to grab a single point at the end of the race, completing the top 10. Outside of the points paying positions, we have Carlos Sainz, followed by Max Verstappen, then Lewis Hamilton with a dismal race in P13, followed by his teammate Valtteri Bottas, then we have Pierre Gasly, Brennan Hartley in 16th and last place. He did what he could to try to catch up to the pack after the safety car, but he wasn't able to beat his teammate as he finishes in last 16th, as we have four retirements, all in the first set of corners, as uh, we have Lance Stroll, Kevin Magnussen, Sergei Sirotin and Roman Grosjean, so zero points for both the Williams and the Haas team. So I believe that's it, right Pepper? I'm uh. just finishing the standings, but yes, that is it for the feature race. We'll take a look at the standings after the sprint race. Which for us is going to be right after this one, but for you guys, which will be in just less than an hour time uh, for the sprint race, obviously, the top eight is reversed for the sprint race and the rest of the grid is set up, settled by the results from the feature race. So make sure you join us just in a bit as we'll wrap up the first round of the F2 2018 championship season. See you soon.